I think the next thing is to know the difference between a problem to solve and a tension to manage. Again, this is a biggie. It took me a long time to figure this out. Because some things are problems you can solve and some things are tensions that you can't solve and therefore you have to finish up managing them. There's nothing worse than getting those energies in a contraflow. Trying to, trying to, trying to solve a tension, um, trying to fix a tension, when all you can do with a tension, by definition, is to live with it, to manage it, to get good at, at handling that well in your life. We can, we can solve a problem, fix something that is a problem, that's rightly called a problem, but we can't switch that energy and that fixing mentality to something that just bounces back the next day. And personality clashes and creative tensions and the tensions between having more ideas and vision than you have finances and resources to do it. Uh, the tensions of timing, the tensions of contradictions in ourselves, the tensions of contradictions in the people we're dealing with, the tensions of things in the world we can't control, like global terrorism, global economy. All of these things throw curveballs into our lives that we can't fix. What I have figured out is that managing a tension will grow you far more than solving a problem will. What you can fix and walk away from demands little from us. But what you can't fix and walk away from daily requires you to have patience and wisdom and skill and compassion and empathy. All of these qualities attention requires from us. That makes us better people, better leaders, better at what we do. So know the difference between today something that you can't solve because it keeps bouncing back anyway, which means it's not a problem, it's attention. And what's attention to manage? Figure which they are and become good, become brilliant at managing tensions. If you can do that, then a lot of things are able to stay in your world, stay in your organization, instead of getting rid of it, reinventing the wheel all the time. Think this is a, t a tension. It's a good one. It's going to be with us a long time. We're going to make this tension work to our advantage. The difference between a problem in someone's life and a tension to manage will make you more skillful at growing people when you figure which two, which, which two of those this issue is, and in yourself too. I think that's a huge thing I learned the hard way about people.